Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some stone block how you guys doing today i hope you are doing well last episode we set up the mob farm matter of fact i just cleaned it out we got i keep finding name tags in my inventory um set up the mob farm i just emptied it out we're still working on trying to collect the loot for um the quest i actually have gotten all we need now is rotten flesh i have completed a lot of quests uh, i have dug us out a hole matter of fact this is how i've got ender pearls these dang endermen just keep spawning i just hide in my little hole bring them over here and then i kill them i have yet to get one to actually spawn in the mob spawner but they spawn in this room like it's nothing. We're going to be working in this room today. I want to get us a grass pad set up so we can start. This pack has chickens. It has fluid cows. It has, um, yeah, both of those. Um, I have been busy. Um, I have sifted a bunch of dirt. We've got a first bit of crops going. Uh, I have made, I accidentally made the base or the crafting seed instead of the inferium seed, but I got our tier one inferium seed growing and just kind of seeing how they work here slowly but surely. Uh, but I have gotten quite a bit of stuff. Now, if you sift dirt in, with a diamond mesh, you have a chance to get these berry bushes. We've got a tin, a copper, and an essence. These two haven't grown. My guess is they need to be in the dark. It's the way it used to be. Um, but since they took them out of Tinkers, I haven't messed with them. Um, but the Essence Berry bush is growing just fine. Uh, also, I have switched this out to fire. It's now... Uh, it now smells faster. Um, I have got two upgrades in here this one I made this one I got out of a loot bag um, so we are loading up on cobblestone right now I have upgraded it to diamond the next tier is with the blaze rods and we don't have blaze rods yet we've got blaze powder I spent a ton of time sifting uh, with the heavy sieves here so first things first I got some loot bags to open up this one right here I have I don't know much about this loot bag it's a one of these hidden loot bags um, supposedly it's got like one in a thousand one in a ten thousand chance of uh, of uh, uh, having another star in it I don't know if it's something that we have to wait and be patient and get it or if it's just all of us we can just do it so we're going to go ahead and open it and see and the next one I get I'll wait I got another bag and another bag and another bag I'm guessing we're going to have to wait all right so we will put this in one of these here somewhere there all right so epic loot bags oh we got a capturing wand and I got another set of piece of armor engineers blueprint that's for the arc furnace that's not necessarily bad oh I tell you what the loot bags are almost as good as the quest uh, uh, rewards have been I have no idea what that is. We've got a couple of them. Uh, basically, this is what I have gotten out of rewards, uh, including... Uh, we want that. Um, this heart canister. Heart container. And I want to see if this just gives us an extra life or extra heart. Ah, it does. We have, have 11 hearts. Beautiful. Alright, so everything else can go up. I have a ton of quests that we need to do right quick too. Uh, diamonds, we've got 
a bunch of now. Emeralds we've got quite a bit of. Uh, I've used some of the diamonds for that. So, but in our quest book, um, I have made endstone. I wanted to look and see what kind of prep we needed for going to the end. It's the same way as it was in... Uh, Yeah, Project Ozone Light. So that is good. We know how to do that. Uh, also, I've got the ones for the meshes. We have made all the way up to the diamond mesh. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to any of the power stuff today. Um, I'm going to try. Uh, but then this stuff opened up. All right, we've got a bunch of chests. Invar hammer, not necessarily bad. We need something. I tell you what, mining that great big hole out took forever. There's another one. Growth crystal tier two. Awesome. I can live with that. Giants chance cubes. We're going to put those away. I don't even want to accidentally mess with those. Oh, five ducks. I've missed, wanted, we got more nature cores. I've wanted to mess with the viaducts. I just haven't messed with them. And more, basically we've got more or less some of the same stuff that we've already gotten. That I'm fixing to go use. Put those up and we can put these up for now. We're not going to need them. And our tier 2 crystal we will put right here. And we'll get even faster growth. Alright, so today I want to set up this grass path. Grass patch. I've already got a bunch of dirt. Hopefully we've got enough to take care of this. Not exactly great. I mean, you know what? We actually could use one of our hammers. Let's get that back out here. So basically, I'm going to spend some time here. Get as much of this. I don't... We're not going to go all the way out. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this back. Let's hit our F7 so we can keep an eye on lights. Uh, so, but in in the process of doing this, we can go ahead and get the other part of this going, which is to get some grass growing. And I have gotten grass seeds. Uh, basically, we're going to fill this room up with as much grass as we can. Uh, and then this is going to be more or less our room for housing animals and stuff like that. I want to get chickens and cows going as quick as we can. Um, because it's just one of those things that makes gathering resources a whole lot quicker. So, let me do some work here, get this all switched over, and then we will be back. Alright, we are back. I have grass pad complete. I did go ahead and make the other watering can. But basically, it's just some iron, which we have now. And it does a 3x3 three three area. And I don't have to worry about refilling it so we've got that we're gonna go down here and do some work we'll see if we can get anything to spawn our next bit of business is I want to look at starting our getting into uh, tinkers uh, I want to make the smeltery um, basically it's the same old recipe that it was before uh, we've got to make 
Uh, clay, we need clay, we need sand, we need gravel. I've got a lot more um, lot more hammering that I need to do. So that is what I'm going to do for a minute. We're going to I'm going to get some grout together. We're going to set this thing up somewhere. I don't even know where I'm going to set it up at. We'll probably set it. May kill this. Uh, no, I can't do it there. We may just set it up right here in the hallway for now. Uh, but let me get some hammering done here, and then I'll be back. All right, we are back. Should have enough stuff here together to make quite a bit of grout. That should be enough to get us at least going. So, we're going to put this in here, let this stuff go. And we're going to go on about our business. We've got some other stuff that I want to get into while we're waiting on this to cook up. I've got more if that doesn't happen to be enough. I've got more stuff in here. I just don't want to use all this yet because I want to use it for some other stuff eventually. Eventually. Vault Enderman keeps spawning. Quit spawning. I want some critters. Alright, so our next bit is going to be to see about making some bonsai pots. I guess it's a good thing we didn't um, use all of our dust because we're going to need quite a few of them. I need some more clay. So I want to set up, I don't know if we're going to set all of them up. Uh, I'd eventually like to get all of them set up for, uh, so we can have, I'm going to use a lot of wood in decorating. I want to try to decorate. Try to decorate. That's going to be the key word. Uh, let's just go with this for now. We'll set up a couple of them. That's not going to work. That'll work, though. And let's get that. So while we're at it, we're not going to make the bonsai pot. The bonsai pot <clears throat> by itself will grow the tree, but you still need an axe to cut it down. It's the hopping bonsai that we need that um, autom you know makes it makes the tree automatic so that is what we are going to do I need a lot more wood than what I've got let's make four of these there's four of those we are waiting on clay. I took my dirt out, put my dirt in here. I think that's enough. Anyways, we'll go ahead and do one now. So there is our bonsai pot, our hopping bonsai. And you can place this over a chest or over a storage drawer. I have got to where I like to use the uh, storage drawers. If I could spell it. Um, the, what is that? Yeah, the two by two. So we need four chests. And I'm going to need more wood. Oh, wait, maybe not. No, I'm still going to need more wood. Hence the reason why we're fixing to start making some of these bonsai pots. Let's... Come on. So I have noticed that our 
we spawn in a deep ocean and I haven't noticed anything this way any different. If we come down here, biome still says deep ocean. Um, but if we go to the back of our grass pad, um, we have a beach and what starts as a forest. We're in beach here and then in the forest. Now, I'm hoping, I don't know if anything's going to spawn, should spawn in the deep ocean. Um, if not, we may have to do some other work. Make our room a little bit bigger where we get into the forest area so we can try to get animals to spawn. So there is two more. That's going to give us four of these, and that'll be about what we need for these. So let's get four different saplings. We're going to take oak. We will take spruce. We'll take acacia. And we'll take dark oak. I don't know. don't remember how the dark oak works. I think it's just one sapling. And we're going to set these up right here for now. So. Do that. We can place these on top here. And we just more or less right click them with the sapling and they will start growing. And the nice thing about these is we, well, it may be disabled in this pack. Looks like it may be. We can let these things grow. And it will automatically place everything into the drawers. Not always going to get everything, but it will give us sticks. We'll get leaves sometimes. We get planks, some or not planks, but logs. Sometimes we get wood. I definitely want apples. I want to make sure that we get a um, right spread on this. The way we've got everything that we need. <clears throat> That'll work. Everything else should be all right now. So that'll start giving us some wood. We won't have to worry about that for the moment. Awesome. I'm hoping some of this stuff is done. All right, we've got some seared goodness. Alright, so we need our faucet. We need our smeltery controller. We need the basin. We need a casting table. We need the smeltery drain. And I think we're going to need a piece of glass. Do I have any glass? I don't think I do. Now let's just go ahead and run all these. And that should take care of our last piece that we need. Oh, we need two faucets for this. Oh, well. Far be it for me to get it wrong. There is our seared tank. And then we just need a bunch of seared brick.
There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, this is not going to give us a very big one, but it'll at least give us one to start out with. Why are we using that? We can do this. Boop, boop, boop. So we want the front of it to be right here. There, there, there. So there's that. Break out this wall. We will break out this wall. We will break out this wall. Now this is not, like I said, this isn't going to be a very big one. Um, but now that we've got this thing set up, I don't have to make grout. I can just run. Uh, I can just run cobblestone through here to get more. Uh, we need to torch this up up here so we don't get mobs of spawning. We'll come back and add more. Like I said, we need our faucet. Just so we have access for both of them. Put that there. That there. Faucet. Faucet. And there we go. Oh, that's such a mess. We definitely have to clean that up. Anyways, we've now got this. I can throw lava in here. And we can now start doubling some of our ores. First things first, though, we need some gold. Let's get one piece. Take a seared brick because we've got that left and let's make our ingot cast then we can start smelting some ingots and all will be well with the world there we go I hear something weird outside. I don't know what it is. So that should give us our ingot cast. Beautiful. Now, instead of getting one out of each one of these, we're going to double them. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and complete this quest. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. For now, we would do this. I am going to probably use this elsewhere. Uh, I want to get this whole area right here is probably going to be a wheat farm. We're going to need a bunch of wheat and seeds for um, for doing our chickens mod. So I'm thinking that that's about all that I wanted to do today. We've got, I need to get this, really need to get it automated is what I need to do. Uh, but I don't have anything yet to do that with. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to come back. Um, I've got some time to get a few videos recorded. So it's going to be one of those where I do this and then I come back and we will probably get into... Our first bit of power generation. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, I do know we're going to get into Ender IO. I have got Grains of Infinity. Uh, in this pack, you can get it. Matter of fact, we can grow them. Um, but getting them, uh, of course, you can get it. Well, it says overworld only. That means we can't get it that way. So the only way to get it in this pack is through Seeving Gravel with a diamond mesh.
Um, so I've got a few of them, at least enough to where we can get some basic machines so I can get some ender IO pipes going um, so we can get some more automation going around here. But for now, we're looking dapper in our hat. We've got ore doubling and we've got bonsai trees. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.